What's up Ohana Exotics and welcome back to another episode. So this is a highly requested video. People have been asking me to do something like this for ages and ages. So I decided, you know what? Let me make a how to make a custom vivarium background build tutorial thingy-majiggy. So let me show you guys what we currently have going. All right, so over here you guys can see it's an old wardrobe. <laughs> all right, so all we did was um, we put some glasses in, a base and everything. We put the lights up top there, and then now we're busy planning the hardscape. So the idea we're going for is a very, very busy hardscape. So we don't want um, a minimalistic thing. We want it to be almost to the point of overcrowded with the amount of branches we put in. Now we did place a few of these branches already, but they fell over because, well, masking tape is not the best thing to keep branches intact with. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into this and get this hardscape sorted. So halfway through the hardscape we realized something we actually forgot to water test this tank so we're gonna water test it with the hardscape in so yeah so let me just bring you guys up to speed uh, right so so this is kind of the hardscape that we decided to go on see what I meant by almost overcrowded with the lush bush area but yeah so let's get this bad boy filled up with water all right guys so while we test the water well, not the water, but the base of the tank for any leaks. We're going to start filming. This is the only brand of foam that I trust in South Africa. Yeah, we don't have the awesome gaps and crack filler like you guys in the States do. But yeah, we're about to foam some of the hardscape in place. And then uh, as soon as that's dry, we're going to put this whole thing on its back. And then we're going to foam up the whole of that background. And then sort that out in a jiffy wiffy. Alright guys, a stupid example, but something you guys really should remember is always shake your can. Guys, you know what I mean. Shake it good. <laughs> Alright, so as soon as you shake it enough, it's a simple build. Just turns up, always spray upside down, and then what we're basically gonna go what we're basically going to do now is all the wood we're just gonna foam into place so that when we have to do the rest of the hardscape, nothing else. All right guys, so the foam has dried up now finally. So that means we can progress and uh, start foaming up the rest of the background. So that's great news. We're gonna jump into a time-lapse again with this cause obviously it is extremely boring to just watch. guys so that's going to be all we do for tonight right so tomorrow morning or during midday or whatever it may be uh we'll cut the foam and then we'll start peating that up and then as soon as we do that obviously this is all going to still happen in this same video so you guys don't have to go leave now i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply it's like that you're just gonna walk into my
It's the next day and here's what's been done so far, right? So we planned the hardscape, we put the wood in place, we foamed it in place, then we roughed up the foam, meaning we cut the foam away and started shaping it. You need that texture to be rough, otherwise the um, liquid rubber we're going to use for the background doesn't stick. And yes, that's right, we're using liquid rubber instead of marine silicone. Uh, we'll go, uh, we'll go, I will explain. <laughs> I will explain why in a moment, but yeah, for now we'll just click on a vacuum up and then uh, clean up a bit before we start applying the liquid rubber and then yeah, let's just jump right into this. this whole thing out it's clean now now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paint brushes we're gonna paint the whole background with the liquid rubber and then as soon as the liquid rubber is on we're gonna start adding peat the reason why we're using liquid rubber now instead of uh, silicone is one cost effective cost effectiveness this is very is huge guys and if you have to use silicone it's gonna cost you yeah it's gonna cost you thousands of rands uh, secondly there's nothing wrong with the liquid rubber it works just as great as the silicone um, yeah, and third, well, it's a lot easier to use than silicon as well. I mean, you don't get as dirty because you can literally paint everything on.
Alright, so the time has finally come to finish this viv. Uh, what was I going to say? I was about to say to finish this viv up, but that doesn't sound right. Anyways, let me just get in the lights so you guys can see me. Alright, so, exciting times. The background speed took. Magnifique. And then uh, we did a little few things off camera. I'll just bring you guys up to speed. So let's just jump right into this. Alright, so. So can you guys see that moss color thingy, Magic is In the background. That's looking fire. Alright, so all we did there is we took acrylic paint. We mixed it to the type of green we want. Took a little sponge and then just. You know, just like hoid it on there. Like, pat, 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 pat. Okay, so. What's left for this build? Um, if you guys look at it, you probably think, uh, what can possibly be left? The whole background's done. Nah, let me show you guys how to spruce up a verb. So what I usually like to do is I take silicon and a silicon gun and fake moss. Then I look at a few places where it looks like there could be a potential possibility for moss to kind of look like it's taking effect. So I'm going to do another time lapse of this so you guys can see what I mean. But yeah, it usually brings out a whole new perspective to this hardscape. But yeah, let's just jump right into this. and there it is that's basically how you do it <laughs> i can see how this video might be very confusing and very jumping going back and forth and etc etc so if this video turns out to be a bit confusing for you guys you're always welcome to hit me up in the comment section with any questions you have otherwise catch me on my um social media platforms like instagram and facebook you guys can drop me a dm there with any questions you have in regards to how to do this i'll be more than willing to help you guys but in any case guys from the deepest point in my heart thank you very very much I'm always thankful for you guys watching the videos and thank you for the guys subscribing. Um, this video was made over the period of four days and I just saw we got 100 subscribers on YouTube. Now I know, I know 100, dude, that's not that much. But for me, that's a pretty big thing, guys, and I appreciate the support. But yeah, um, in any case, if this video doesn't make sense, don't worry, guys. Um, just leave comments, then I'll answer you. And then obviously, if the comments are quite profoundly leaning towards not making sense <laughs> I'll, I'll redo another of a very background for you guys but in any case guys like subscribe join the family and from Han exotics i say peace out